starting a stream? Yeah, I'm actually starting a stream. Okay. Yeah, welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War 2. Which, now that I think about it, is kind of a weird thing to say. Because there's two twos in there. Maybe I should just trying to... shorten it to XCOM Long War 2 or something. I don't know. At least you're not trying to call a cabin hoy for to do to do to do. That is a reference lost on me. Uh, Frank DeLima was the was the guy who did the commercials for the yellow cab of Hawaii, where the the phone number was four two 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 two. That? And so it was him in three different dresses as Tutu, 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 being that, grandmas. That is a profoundly obscure reference. I'm actually kind of impressed. <laughs> Let's see. I think that should hopefully be safe. Got it. So is this thing about the trap? Uh... At the end of the last video, we were talking about how uh, apparently there are screenshots going around of Advent hiding in uh, VIP cells as sort of like an ambush. And, uh. and we didn't know if that was a bug or intentional. And I think Love Not uh, in the chat. Yeah, posted, posted that it started as a bug, but it was <laughs> a it, bug that became a feature. Decided. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so he threw it in. Which, oh uh, yeah, yeah, good times. I'm um, also not sure if I linked it, but there was that one video, Avenger Defense in two turns. I don't know if I saw that. Basically, I it it sounds pretty straightforward. Yeah, turret missed a shot and hit an environmental hazard right next to the to to the. Uh, disruptor thing, keeping the Avenger landed. And so it's just like, okay, get the two people back on board and we're gone. Hmm. Very well. Also, you may notice I've got a new overlay on the stream. Yeah, I can see that. Or, uh, so that going forward people know who's talking in, uh, <laughs> in Discord when I do these things. So that random viewers aren't just like, uh, so who's that and who's that? I figure that'll be helpful. Probably, yeah. Let's see. How long do we have to go until we find this guy? It's this entire giant building. Okay. We're in a pretty good spot to start. And this is our this is our starting crew. The people who went through Great Crasher, plus Egoon, because Zarhan's still in the medbay. So we got him, got uh, Zenkarn, Aurelia, Codeman, Creeper Zone, Azure Mountain, uh, Snowman, and Sonny. Hmm. So... And uh, these are the guys who have, who the first reached the rank of squatty. So now we get to actually see some of their abilities in play. We probably don't even need to start with a grenade. We can probably do this in an alternate way. Who's going to have the best to hit on? Oh, your view is blocked on a couple of places. All right. Yeah, you're pretty good. You'll probably start the first shot, Snowman. So I just have to ask, did I survive the other mission? Of course you did, yes. yeah. Okay. Aside from the first mission, the other two were completely fault flawless. No deaths or injuries. Yep. Pretty simple tutorial missions, or, you know, starting missions. Yeah. Put you on Overwatch. Put... 
you on Overwatch. And you. Gonna leave you open. Leave you open. You can probably move up and ready your gun. You should definitely move up and ready your gun. But contrary to what I just said, we're gonna open up with the Grenadier. That would be me. That would be you. Also, I noticed on the first stream, after watching the video back, that I was a bit quiet, and no one really said anything about that. I didn't really notice. I mean, my this group kind of goes across all the ranges of volume. So unless it's, like, extreme, I don't really comment on it. I, I could still right. basically understand you. But... I don't know, you might disagree. Well, this time I've moved my mic closer to my mouth. That always helps. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just move you up to the wall there. I've got it. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you are still in concealment because you are shinobi so we'll have you i guess scout forward sure why not oh yeah another mod that i found yesterday add diablo style loot to the game yeah just I... weapons with various upgrades and just like i don't think i want that yeah no i there's plenty enough upgrading to be done in this game. Don't really need that. Thanks. Heading there now. <laughs> so I guess we're just going to go straight through the building and out the other side. That seems like a way to do this. Position. Question I have is, can I move? I probably shouldn't open that door this turn that uh, Creeper Zone's in front of, that CZ is in front of. On the move. And just kind of get everybody into position for the next turn when we open the doors, because there might be a pod on the other side. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. twice still that's a small opening to get a whole team through there is that secondary door though maybe I can maybe I can park some guys there Copy that. make this a dual entry double breach yeah I mean, I don't know if there's going to be a pot on the other side, but if there is, I want as many guns through as many entry points as I can manage. Yeah. So in no particular order, we'll put you guys here. Hmm. Fancy to here. You kind of in the middle because you could go either way. And keep on scouting. Headed there now. With Aurelia. And now I've got a set of eyes in this room. Overwatch. Shut up. Listen. Uh oh, there's definitely something someone in that room. Alright. 
We're doing it. Oh no, apparently not. That's interesting. Then why did I get the sound indicator in this direction? Well then. Good copy. Moving on target. No enemies on this side yet. Well, they do make these extraction maps really big. Big, so it's entirely possible that, uh, you know, they're somewhere else. We're not in concealment, so they might be moving around us. That is, at least that is a thing that they claim the AI can do. So they're flanking. Ah, mistake made. I done did that. Hello. Hello. What's up? Um. I made a mistake. Now, when you say you made a mistake, I I kind of got a little confident and triggered a pod that I didn't want to. Yeah, got Sani out in front of a pod with no cover and no moves left. Ouch, she builds. Fortunately, I can disorient a couple of them Get ready for a surprise. without hitting him, too. Well, that's good, at least. And I've got aid protocol on him, so... He's gonna have to deal, but he should be Welcome okay. I can also get uh, CZ to run and gun. Oh, it's a plus. But not terribly great on the damage bonuses, so we'll just grenade him out. Actually, probably, probably instead of the frag, I should have done another flashbang to get the guy in the back. Just to be absolutely sure, but... Too late now. But yeah, too late now. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. So, so who's the poor bastard who's going to be dodging bullets? That's Sonny. Sonny. Uh, it ain't Sonny for Sonny. Somehow I knew he, he would eventually pull up on like that. Oh! Nice shot, Eguion, on a 21% chance. Considering that they're using la laser weapon, he's probably Sonny's gonna get a wonderful little wonderful little tan. That's one way of putting it. Yeah, watch out, the Imperial Guard are busting out their flashlights. That's a miss. And that's a strange double move. Okay. Sonny is fine. I love it when the AI does the occasional stupid thing, you see. I mean, he was discombobulated. Yeah. Heading to that location. Let's show off the hollow targeting. also show off the shinobi's flesh, which is basically the same as a ranged uh, melee, or sorry, but a, a running, charging melee, but for every, like, four squares you travel, apparently does an extra point of damage, or at least increases the damage range. Are they screaming bonsai as they do it? It's possible. But we don't really need that yet, and it's 
at the beginning, it's probably the most one of the most powerful abilities in the freaking game. Moving to position. But uh, we'll clean up with some other people. Enemy Look at that. Flash also doesn't have a cooldown, as far as I can tell. Moving to designated position. Got it covered. Good copy. Moving on target. <laughs> and meanwhile, the VP is like, "Hey, is anyone coming to get me?" Anybody? Maybe like, what's that sound? That's affirmative. It kind of sounds like rescue. Let's see if you can do your trick again, Aguion. Nope. On, all out. They gave me some tea. You know what? As a uh, apology for making you go through that, I'll let you use your flamethrower. There we go. Isn't that nice? And it's high time we got the VIP out of there. <laughs> so is a flamethrower. Is a flamethrower a 100% uh, chance to hit? Yeah, it's just got a short range cone. Okay. Bring out the flamen warfer. It's actually a pretty solid weapon, actually. Yes, it is. Technicals are pretty darn sweet. I think, as far as early game strength, uh, its shinobis and technicals are just very, very strong. Yeah, it looks like we got this under wraps, more or less. Assuming this move doesn't trigger anything. Thank goodness. Moving to designated coordinates. And Aurelia hasn't even left stealth yet. Scanning. On my way. Got something new. Well, she can go loot that corpse if she wants to. Got it covered. <laughs> Getting it done. Wait, how are you going to get there? Okay. If you think that's the fastest, I'm not going to stop you. Just broke through a window to get out of. You, you walked the upstairs door. and then broke through a second-story window to get out of there. Ah, that'll Jumping do it. from things is fun. Not gonna deny that. Hmm. All right. We don't really need to stick around, but I'm kind of tempted to to just have fun with this last group. I'm not sure if reinforcements add to the XP, because I know it's based on the number of enemies that are in the mission. I don't know if it also counts when reinforcements arrive. I'm gonna... Nah, I'm gonna move you back. Good civilians, because nothing says get, get the hell down like an angry man with a gun. That'll do it. Not that, like, the explosions and gunfire that they were hearing close by should have wasn't enough of an indicator they should probably get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, the civilian awareness has always been a 
odd mystery of the life of XCOM. <laughs> I mean, is gunfights and all that that common? Well, I think it's like the regime is such a nuisance that it's like, well, it's, it's Advent's probably got it under control. It's not my business. Keep my head down. I mean, I imagine it's more common than where I am. Maybe. I don't know. I don't go outside much. Hmm. Hmm. Do I just a to... freaking... That was just a turkey shoot. I think yeah. I'm the only one that missed in that entire barrage. Eh, someone was bound to. And just the one guy who was closest to the wall managed to actually get the hell out of there before the wave of bullets just killed everything. That's kind of how it goes. We out. I also noticed that my will was lowest except for two other people in the entirety of the soldiers that are that you have. Maybe. So there's gonna yeah, be I've got 34 will. Yep. Uh, that's... Someone else has 31, and someone else has 29. And those are the three lowest. Fair enough. Operation Devil's God. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be making a big deal out of all the operation names. At least at first. They'll probably just become whatever later on. Well, considering we had... What, Knife Wagon and Hot Dream? Not Knife Wagon was a standout. <laughs> mm. Yeah, all, all in all, uh, good stuff. An eight-man squad really lets you do a lot. Yeah, I don't think anyone got injured there, did they? Nope. It's a pretty easy when you know how to play it right and you got eight people and it's on rookie so you know the odds are more in your favor anyway mm -hmm. yep. so now we can actually uh rank up to lance corporal and start getting our uh start getting some abilities Good abilities i don't know they they up they increased it so now you have three perks per level which is uh, interesting, and the perks are all different. So, Azure, since you are in this group, I will let you pick what you think you want. Uh, Sapper means your explosives can destroy many cover objects. Needle grenades means your explosives do not destroy loot when they kill enemies. And rapid deployment means when you activate this ability before throwing or launching a support grenade, uh, the throw will not cost an action. Hmm. I think it's between blowing up cover and not blowing up items. It really yeah. is, yeah. Because you've got someone also modded in the Dr. Valen's voiceover from the first game of Commander, please remind your soldiers not to blow up the alien artifacts to bring back. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what do you think's more useful? I really don't know. The these perks aren't a, aren't like outstanding, like some of the XCOM 2 vanilla perks are. So it's like it's really a small thing, and I'm not at the point right now where I use a bunch of support grenades besides flashbangs. Well, since I've narrowed it down to do, I think I'm gonna flip a coin between sapper and needle grenades. What should be heads and what should be tails? Heads is sapper. It kind of depends what you value more, because being able to blow up cover right, is so. tactically a good thing, while well, being able to get loot items from things you hit with it is more of a strategic benefit. Yeah. One one helps the combat layer. One helps the strategic layer. 
and in turn the combat layer later on. In theory. Hmm. Did you flip that coin? Yeah. Uh, I flipped it three times, actually. Two of three times landed up heads, so... Sapper it is. Yeah, sapper. We'll go a little bit faster on the rest. Codeman, right. you get death from above, above rapid targeting, which is... All the explanations are long, so I'll just explain the one I actually pick. And Snapshot. Um, in general, all three of these are pretty interesting, and I haven't played enough to really like decide, like, ooh, I definitely want this one. So I guess they're balanced. I don't know if that's really the word I'd use, but uh, I'm going to go with Snapshot, which is you can fire after moving, but you get range penalties after five squares of squad sight. Uh, have you gone to me yet? Uh, no. Oh, good. Here's Zenkarn. We're just gonna get medical protocol. Here's, uh, Aurelia. I don't think you're in this squad, though. Cutthroat. Which makes sword attacks deal more damage and ignore armor against organic enemies. Um, CZ, Slugshot, Electroshock, Lightning Reflexes. I don't know, I don't know Creepers on that well. What would, what should his specialty be? In my experience, Slug Shot is really, really good. It has no range penalties, right. Yeah, it basically allows them to act as if they had an assault rifle for one shot, it'd be like five turns. His mobility is really good, but... Yeah, Slug Shot. Pick something safe. Gunner. Three turns. Uh, center mass, one extra additional point of base damage, combatives. You can parry melee attacks and counterattack with your combat knife. Also plus 10 dodge. Well, the thing is, you have really kind of crappy mobility, so you're not going that fast enough to really be a melee priority. Mm. Or grazing fire. Misses become grazes more often. I'm going to say, uh, center mass. Sonny, you're getting fire in the hole. Your rockets are more accurate. And Aguion became a grenadier. Very well. So Aguion's getting needle grenades later. Thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with resistance agents. And we got one. a... Oh, I could build the proving ground. That would actually. I usually, exactly I, usually does... I usually save the proving ground for later, but. Uh... What does the proving ground actually do? A lot. It allows you to build, uh, allows you to do special projects like, like the um the hacking gauntlet thing. Nice. And I think you can build mechs of your own in Long War. I haven't actually built a proving ground of myself yet. Well, we're going to build one so that we can actually get started on that stuff and use the Illyrium cores. All right, so we have a squad back. We've used up a lot of our supplies, and we need we need to build a, a power relay. That's just a thing that has You'll to happen. You'll get more supplies in one day from that clearing. Uh, 
40 intel. That's pretty significant, but I've already got another... Hmm. That is a tempting... Yeah, I'm, let's see, I'm getting... Getting a scientist at Intel package. Operation and... Dragon Giant is a really good name. Ooh, and I'm getting a scientist. Yeah. Getting an Intel package. Don't know how much that's worth. Shattered Sug is a pretty good one, too. Deftooth, God. Shattered Saga just sounds like a. Oh, this this thing expires in two days, eighteen hours. Nope, nope. And Deftooth sounds like something out of the Orcs in Forty K. Um. Yep. Time for Operation Deftooth. I wonder if they added some kind of some more logic to the. Uh, Operation name generator to make it create cooler names. They might have added to the dictionary a bit. They, they probably modified it. Like, I, I, I can see that being part of the logic. Like, if you're going to have a campaign that's much lo longer, you might as well make sure that you don't have as many repeats. We're heading in to get a drop on the transport and free that captive. Expect hostile resistance. Secure the area and clear out yeah. anyone who stands in God your way. God dang. So which group are we following now? Um, I believe we're following Grizzly, which yeah. is the one that doesn't have the Australians. Uh. Alien Sniper 314, I think I heard they added like 200 words or something. Makes sense. With the way the operation names have been so good, though, it, it almost feels like they have some kind of... They might have like, a filter. Like certain words can't go with each other, if that would sound lame. They may have a filter. I'm just gonna go quiet for a second. I'm gonna go grab some, grab lunch. You do so. Let's go with Operation Death Tooth. Menace one five. We have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all. Yeah, I guess at the fort. The alien should change the name of, of uh, Saint Petersburg again. <laughs> See. Oh, there's our first pod, right on schedule. And then after we win, we'll revert that name change back to something else. <laughs> we accidentally call it Leningrad, and no one just nobody really notices. I'm actually going to go around these guys and get closer. Get, get closer to the uh, to the vehicle before I start hostilities. Location confirmed. Go go go. Will do. Rolling out. Good to go. Unless they move too close for my guys to move, in which case. I guess it's on. Whoopsie. My hubris. Shot. Ah, dang it. Well. Soup's on. Uh, 
Let's see. This is a bit of a pickle. You know the people watching the video now, though, they're going, Oh good, I was worried no one would die. I... They're excited now. I'm, I'm not really surprised. Is Jawa still in concealment, or did he get found too? I think he got found. Ooh. Tempting to try for the control. But a drone's a... not a useful thing to stun outright. Let's see. Area suppression... Be fruitful Oh wait, here. never mind, no. not Jawa, whoever the shinobi was. Oh, the shinobi. Uh, the shinobi for yeah, that's uh, that's Mikan. He's in concealment, but uh, okay. What does that really not help a whole lot? He could delete one of these guys. The question is, who? I'd really need to. Just about any position he could find himself would put him in danger. So I need to need to get rid of some other people first. I want to get... It's probably at least... Probably the biggest problem today. I see right now is... The Advent Engineer back there, who I think has a grenade launcher? Or something? So I definitely want him gone. Uh, in my experience, the Advent grenade launcher people only launch stun grenades, at least in the early game. At any rate. How's that full cover? Ah, anyway. Rolling. Let's do a point blank shot. So that that guy's not so far forward. He'll also have uh, full cover from that angle. Yep, yep, that's a good good spot for him. Grenadier. There's a huge clump back there, and I want to make sure that my technical gets an angle on it. So that I can bomb it to hell. Okay, time to pray. God damn it. You didn't pray hard enough. Well, the engineer's dead, but... So, uh, so might be the engineer. Alright. Did well. he break the window and then fire through the door? Maybe. I don't know. I think the shotgun blast should have broken the window, but... No, he just kind of phased through the wall. I guess so. So that group still needs to be taken care of, which means it's probably a job for... my grenadier. Oh dear, civilian casualties. They did not pick a good place to cover down and hide. Yeah. Dang it, I hate it when drones, you get grazing shots on drones, of all things. You mentioning the uh, windows made me look at the official XCOM stat tracker. 
uh, apparently there has been 15 million and 291,000 windows jumped through. <laughs> Ow. From Makes all Iron Man games. Makes sense. Let's see, we have a couple troopers and a sectoid hanging around. Forty million XCOM soldiers lost. Makes sense. Check that out. Target neutralized. Shinobis are awesome. Heading to that location. Yeah, they are. Taking control. So contrary to what I just said, I think I am actually gonna just stun this drone. Or it could have taken control of it, but I wasn't gonna know that. And it just it just points at the ground and falls. And Yeah, we'll do area suppression to lock those guys down. Cool. That's great. Now, that guy's hunkered down, so we'll probably just blow him up. Target eliminated. VIP is secured. We're on Menace the one five confirmed. <laughs> barely, barely didn't blow up the engineer or scientist or whatever. The VIP. Oh, that's what you how you say. Could have been not great. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Target disabled. Make sure to get the drone so that it doesn't come back behind us. It also had to think. Well, this mission got off to a rocky start, but we're back under control. Got something good here. Roger that. I think it would have been amazing if you'd missed that shot on the drone. I... amazing is a word. Because it's literally just a box on the ground. Yeah, that would seriously raise some concerns about the, uh sharpshooting abilities of the XCOM squad. You are going to hide behind the car and do nothing. I'm all over it. And this particular heavy has a huge amount of mobility. Red is a gunner with a lot of range. I could probably actually make Step use of the knife. So now the million dollar question is, what's between us and evac? Got it covered. On it. Rolling out. Getting it done.
Reloaded. Moving to Overwatch. And my squad spread a little thin. Heading there now. Oh hey, look. There's a uh... You got little wanted posters. At least they yeah, were there's there. There's like a custom reaction if you put a person by their wanted poster. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah there's Zenkarn. Yeah, that's always been in XCOM 2. No, I know about the wanted thing, but uh, what's the unique reaction? Like, apparently they do a double take on seeing their face, I, from what I've I heard. I think there's a voice line. Dang. I really want to see that now. And it looks like we're not seeing anything on the way to... Affirmative. On the way to evac, so it looks like we we'll just got to get there. The, those civilians that are yelling in, in reaction to your appearance, the uh, alien pods on patrol can hear the yelling from any point on the map, and they'll try to converge on it, so... I f don't they kind of do that anyway once you're out of concealment, or...? Uh, I don't think they know where you are, even once concealment is broken. Oh, we have reinforcements. Where did I park the VIP? There you are. What are the odds you can make it all the way there? I love the idea that all the wanted posters are of Lovenot and Zenka and Zenkan simply because they're they're the two most memorable people. I also <laughs> saw one just for wait Codeman. I wanted one. Unfortunately, this isn't an area with a whole lot of cover unless they duck into that building, which is probably the area I should lock down the most. And there's also it's, some wanted posters for Aurelia as well. It's pretty silly making a wanted poster of someone and just putting a photo of them with a mask on. So Zenkan could take off the helmet. He's never gonna take off. off. He's never gonna take off that helmet. <laughs> that is not. That is a non-concern. Whoops. I'm pretty sure. That, I'm pretty sure that at this point, that it's part of his identity, his identity, his personality. I'm pretty sure taking it off would be would have very bad repercussions. It, it would take cause, it off and put the horse head mask on. It would cause psychological damage. God damn it! Now, please all die. Been melded to his face. Or it's just not a mask, it's just his actual face. What did the aliens do to you, Zenka? The real question is, what is he going to do to the aliens? Well, that was a total something. Turkey shoot! Good copy, moving on target. Two left. Honestly, it looked like more died. Were there five in that drop? There were four. There were yeah, the, there were a the, lot of missed shots. Hmm. I'm just kind of assuming that it was more along the lines of one of them, a couple, the two of them survived, decided to give friendship a shot and push their and peer, their peers in front of the, to take the bullets for them. Well, one just because one just ducked into the bombed-out truck, and the other went directly for the building. It's very convenient. The others these, like ran yeah. in like one of them tried to run back, and the other like sort of diagonally towards behind the building, which were not as effective a strategy. 
It's nice that these advent trucks then start smoking like normal cars. I guess the walls you can blow up just fine if you're careful. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the engine or the gas tank got hit. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the front. Casing. Yeah. Which, yeah, very fortunate. Incredibly fortunate that that rocket miss did not go any further. Yep. And that's why I usually always pick the rocket accuracy perk on the first uh, level of the tree for the technical, because that sucks. Just out of curiosity, what are the uh, other perks for the first thing? For the well, probably see him. I don't remember. Um, one of them is for the flamer, and it gives you a, a special shot where it forces enemies to reload. Okay. Even though it, it does damage. next to no damage. I can't remember what the third trait is. Double time. Move, move, move. Got it. Moving. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just sort of picturing just technical, just someone's just screaming, I cast Fireball before launching a rocket. <laughs> Here we go, that's half the squad. Now you've got me thinking of some incredibly bizarre and recursive thing where the Dragon Maulers in this universe are playing a role-playing game and then making four full breaking comments about it. Like, oh, this is ridiculous. Who would play a game like this? It's stupid. Hey. Hey. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Another window broken. <laughs> There's only already 40 million of them gone. What's one more? Yep, why take a door when there's a perfectly good window that you could jump through? I mean, it's all about the shortest path from point A to point B. And maybe that's, a maybe window the doesn't count as distance. Maybe we're trying. 100% successful shot percentage, even though I feel like someone missed. Oh, we missed on we, we missed on Overwatch. I think it only counts uh, actual fire actions. Okay. I think I think our seek our backup strategy is we're trying to bankrupt the aliens by our insurance claims. Oh, they never pay out on insurance. Which is slowly turning the general population against them. Yeah. One sto one store at a time. I'm glad to see our troops finding success in the field. It's good. The plan is foolproof. So this one will not be a squad site. Man, your mobility is really low for a sniper. Is the problem? I'll give you rapid targeting. Well, now you you need snapshot in order to be actually relevant with your sniper rifle. Huh, assault. What are the alternatives, actually? Uh, they're rapid hollow targeting, which is, uh, you can once, it's like on a four turn cooldown, you can use your hollow target as a free action, and also using the hollow target doesn't end your turn by default, it's a single turn action that doesn't end your turn. Of course, the sniper doesn't carry a pistol, so using one action means they can't do anything. Yeah. Well, you can give them a pistol. <laughs> I... Um, when... Let's see. When you upgrade Love Knot, can you give him the uh, Death from Above tree? Let's go full, full long range sniper. Sure, yeah. I want to kill eight people and want to eventually. I mean, you would get you. Could, I mean, I, <laughs> I imagine I'll be giving most of them a cereal. Yeah, but you have to hit your shots for that to work. I'm gonna give you lightning reflexes. Hmm. 
uh, having to be accurate. I'll give you combat ifs. See how that tree works out. Um. I just love the idea it's not actually combat stems, it's just some sort of... Uh, combatives is what the uh, hand Oh, the, the third the third, the third perk in the tree uh, for technical Lance Corporal is suppression. Just regular suppression. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I've heard combatives is the term for the hand-to-hand -hand training style. Fair yeah, enough. Yes. Um, so, that's more if you want to use a flamethrower a lot. Or at least I'm just thinking, because if you're going to be close range. Let's give you a little profile, just for fun. And we got... A science. Hooray. Oh, hello. Now that we finally got this place also, his typing. Sounds like something good. Should be able to access oh, yeah, that's certainly me. Sorry, I'll mute when I do that. Let's see if you two can play nice. Some kind of interference up here. Seems to be hitting us across the board. Working on it. Something triggered Ooh. your remote uplink. I recognize this. That's How it. is that possible? No one knows these systems. Shit. How are we doing this? What the hell is going on down there? Okay. Commander, I'm too old to start believing in ghosts, which means someone had to access that unit remotely. If they can access Rover, there's no telling what else they might be able to do. I strongly suggest we make investigating that signal our top priority. Looks like yeah, as soon as this ends, you probably want to buy a bunch of AP rounds if you can. On the map now. That's... Surprisingly, not the worst idea I've ever heard. Avenger plotting new course. But I don't really need it. I don't want to spend the supplies. I don't want to spoil anything, but I also feel like I really need to warn you, because... I know, I know, I've done Shen's last gif. The last bit killed, like, two of my troopers. I did it on my long war campaign, test campaign, and I... They didn't do it flawlessly, but I... everyone survived. Are you literally being... being overconfident? I'm just plain confident. I guess it'd probably be a lot easier if you'd save some of your grenades till the end so you can strip the armor off. I was yes, that's kind of what I did when I did that. Already got an intel mission going. Oh! Well, we can't do that just yet. So, that's going to be something that's on the horizon. But, uh... Until then, we've got some other missions to run. That's kind of the theme of Long War 2, is that you just kind of set a bunch of things up and then knock them down like We're dominoes. We're try and pull off an emergency rescue operation for the resistance. The spokesman gave us the coordinates of a VIP currently... Dominoes that shoot back. Forces in this area. Yes. We need to secure the site, and are horrible, horrible people. Our way, and free the prisoner. 
If you count, if you count aliens as people. It's exactly like dominoes. If when you flick the domino, it punches you in the face. If when you flick the domino, it flicks you back. So who's on this weapons. mission? Uh, I believe this will be our payday team. <laughs> and it's holy laughter, so... So, yes, it's... It's good for all the psychos on, <laughs> on the Avenger. Hurrah! Yeah, this is the Australian team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Only half Australian. Well, and yeah, then me. It's got all the Australians on it. So, does it have every single one of the Australians on it? Would, I get, if no, there I get, are it only has, three Australians, it, then yeah. It, it has. I'm pretty sure there are four total, but because Zenkarn is. Uh, oh right, on, Zenkarn. Zenkarn's, yeah. Zenkarn's nah, on. He's in my squad. Uh, on Grizzly Spearhead. No, or, Zenkarn's oh, on yeah, Spearhead. Z yeah, Zenkarn's on Spearhead. Uh, Zenkarn's. Oh uh, yeah, he is Australian, isn't he? Yep. And yeah, Tibbs, Love Knot, and yeah, strong copper. Strong copper are on Book payday. Tibbs is half Australian. He's a character that's Australian and being played that's, by us, and he's not. That's true, but I mean, what other voice am I going to give him? But anyway, I feel this is a good stopping point. <laughs> That'd be All an right. interesting option if you could have a badly act. Because this is going to be a long mission. This is going to be a long mission. I mean, this map is humongous, oh. and there's 16 turns, so. Oh god, that would be just a mod that does that's just dedicated to awful, awful accents. Yeah, like alternative, like for every uh, nationality preset, there's one version that's someone who doesn't actually speak the language, just trying <laughs> to do the accent. I think that might just be the International Voices Pack mod. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.